Dozens of ships have been waiting off the port of Los Angeles to up unload merchandise. The backlog affecting everything in the supply chain, even school lunches. An all out effort is underway to clear the backlog and get goods into stores in time for the holidays. I would assume Mr. Josh Haskell has the latest on the situation. This is not what the waters off the port of Los Angeles are supposed to look like. Normally, the port wouldn't have a single ship waiting to unload. But as of Friday, Executive Director Gene Soroka told GMA3, the port of Los Angeles has over 60 ships waiting in the Pacific and more on the way. Randy Wells, the CEO of Discount Safety Masks, says his container full of 1.9 million adult masks made it to the port but has been sitting in a container yard for weeks. And because of the labor shortage, it can't be accessed. Just like the images show, it's off the coast for a couple weeks. Then it actually finally got to the dock. And I believe this container, uh, this ship sat at the dock for a week, where in a normal time, you know, a, a ship will come into the, the dock and then leave the dock same day. According to Freitos, shipping a 40 foot container from China to the West Coast cost $1,318 in October of 2019. Two years later, it costs over $16,000. And in November of 2019, it took a container from China to the U.S. 41 days on average, but now it's 75 days. But Soroka said in terms of the holiday shopping rush, it's not all bad news. We're in pretty good shape because the American importers started bringing in their Christmas and holiday goods back in June, two months ahead of a normal schedule. It's that small family owned business or the folks that really rely on this holiday season that we've got to focus on and get this cargo moving as fast as we can. Supply chain issues are being felt almost everywhere, including at schools. LAUSD says school meals are being impacted because of packaging, supplies and labor shortages. In a statement, LAUSD said, we have had to find alternatives for various products like applesauce, pre-made entrees, and fresh cut vegetables. Food Services has deployed all staff, including the director, to schools to serve meals and temporary workers have been hired where needed to support our food services staff and robust food efforts. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.